Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. I'm going to do a really quick uh, explanation and kind of a, a review on this Reliance uh, generator switch panel. This is a manual switch panel. So if you've got an external generator, um, you can plug it in. Either, the receptacle will come either here, where you plug your generator in, or you can extend it out to the outside where I've got mine. I've got mine going through conduit outside my house. Mine goes outside my house, and I've got a receptacle here so that I can keep my generator um, outside, and I'll just run a cord, and I'll plug it in right here. So you got to run wiring from here into that box. Now, the other part of the wiring, you have to run over to your breaker panel, and the breaker panel is actually pretty easy. So you've got a wire going to your, your breaker, so say I want to say I want to say I want that smoke detector to work off of go through the engine generator panel. I'm going to pull that wire off of the circuit breaker. Of course, you're going to do all this with power off, but you're going to pull that wire off, and you're going to wire nut it to a wire like this. This wire harness right here goes to the bottom of this, and it comes in here. So you've got a wire coming off of here that you're going to put to the breaker and then you're going to pull the wire off of the breaker and wire nut it to the wire going to this panel. So basically it's going to, the wire coming from the generator switch panel is going to go on the breaker now and the wire going to your, your um, service is going to get wire nutted. So I've got some wire nutted off to the side there. You're going to wire nut those to a wire going to the switch panel also so let me explain this now so these are three position switches so you've got when it's in the down position that means it's getting power from your your circuit breaker panel your main panel when you go to the middle position that's off you can see over here that's off and if you go up that means it's getting power from the generator. So in a power outage, I've got to hook my generator up outside. It's got to be supplying power. And then I've got to come out here and I've got to manually throw these switches all to, all to generator. I've got to throw all these switches up. Now, I wish it would have done more of the house, but I only did six circuits. Uh, I've got the basic ones, fridge, furnace, basement, sewer pump, family room, and master bedroom. So basically six circuit breakers that get power from your mate, your service entrance. You can now get power from the generator and that's by simply taking the wire off of the circuit breaker, wire nutting it to a wire that goes down to the switch panel and then taking the wire from the switch panel and then putting it in place of the wire that was on the circuit breaker. Pretty simple job. Um, I'm not a master electrician, but I was able to do mine. It's a little easier for a new house because uh, you don't have all the drywall and everything. And then these also do have their own little uh, circuit breakers up at the top. And then this is really nice. It tells you the load. So it tells you the load that A, B, and C is over here. It tells you the load. How much these, these things, the things I got hooked to them don't pull much, much load at all. But it is kind of neat to see how much your generator is putting out. So this is a very basic generator. Um, they make automatic ones, but this is all manual. I've got to plug the generator in outside. I got to start it, plug it in, and I got to come in here and throw these switches all to the generator position. So again, this is just a dad. It's a, just a quick explanation. If you're thinking about buying one, thinking about trying to trying to do one of these, it's, it is relatively simple. And so if you could please like and subscribe, and thank you for watching. So it comes with a really nice instruction manual for installing this power transfer switch. It talks about it. Kind of gives you, shows you how to do it. 